guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have no idea what we're gonna do. We're gonna wing it out as we go. Um, I haven't bought more makeup in a week. So I'm just going to get started. I finally got my eyebrows done as well, so it's like fresh. So it kind of like red a little bit. It's a little inflammation, but we'll see. Whatever, but I never like my eyebrows until I actually do my eyebrows, if that kind of makes sense, because they're thin. But yeah, so let's just get ready. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so now I'm just going to be starting with my base. I already primed my face and I'm going to use my typical technique where I dampen my sponge with my primer water, dot the foundation all over my face, and then blend it out. I am using a, the L'Oreal True Match in Buff Beige. I know it seems a little light on the camera, but it does work out and it do bronze up my face so it'll work out. Now I'm just color correcting with my MAC concealer. All the info will be in the bottom bar as usual. So I'm just applying those into my dark circles since we had no sleep, lack of sleep, and concealing those bad boys. And now I'm going to go in with my Radiant um, Cream, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, not my dad, in custard. And I'm applying that in the triangle formation to not only brighten but to conceal my face and I'm applying a little bit on my eyelids to prime as well and I'm going to do the same technique with my sponge and blend all that out and now I'm going to be setting the concealer with the MAC invisible powder and I'm gonna set that all over the center portions of my face, exactly where we applied the concealer. And then as usual, you guys know, I will be setting the rest of my face, the outer portions with my MAC uh, Studio Fix powder in NC40 as per usual. And I will take the smaller end of this IT cosmetic brush and make sure my eyes are primed because that is what I use for my concealer. And today we're gonna go in with the Maybelline's Nudes palette. And it's one of my greatest palettes that I really enjoy from the drugstore. I'm going to take this gray taupey shade first on my fluffy brush and apply that all over my crease. I'm going to start with the windshield wiper motion. Uh, as you can see, I do not have a lot of product on my brush at first because we want to build the color onto our eyelids. So I'm going to start with um, barely any product at first just to map out where exactly I want to apply the shade. So I'm going to apply it mainly in the center portions of my crease and basically using this color as my transition shade and I'm just going to be going back and forth. Now I'm going to take this more darker gray on a more fluffier, pointier brush. And I'm going to make pretty much, I'm going to cat, out, cat eye my wing, pretty much what I'm going to do with the eyeshadow, and then push it inward. So it's kind of like making an V right there. And then I'm going to be um, blending that out. I'm going to first intensely blend it on the outer V portion of my lids. And then I'm going to move in closer when there's less product on my brush. I decided to actually take this NYX highlighting palette and take the um, pale gold kind of shade, which is right there. And it's kind of like a light champagne-y kind of gold. And I just decided to put that all over my lid. I just used my fingers. It's just, meh. You, you can use your fingers, guys. Honestly, it doesn't hurt. But yeah, I just put that all over my lids. And I felt like it just brightened my eyes since I haven't worn makeup in a week. It kind of, like, I needed something to give me some life, guys. So that's what I did. And then I took my fluffy brush again with no additional product and blended the two, well, three shadows all together. So it looks all seamless and there's no harsh lines in between the um, colors when we applied it at first. So that's what I'm doing here. And now I'm applying my favorite Avon Black Eyeliner because I feel like it makes my eyes look big and bold. And I have big eyes and I like to, I really enjoy making them the stars of the show. And I just applied my eyeliner offline. As you can see, bam, eyes are huge difference. So now I'm going to take those two colors and I'm going to apply it um, exactly where I have my wing. 
I'm just going to darken that area just a little bit more just to give it more of a um, cat eye effect. So I take a pointier brush in order to do this at first just to apply the color and then I'll blend it out with a more fluffier brush. This just kind of like it just gives it a little more depth in the look which is why I prefer to do it and it just gives a little more you know a, a little more jazz a little you know something something <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm trying to do I just layer it so I go a little bit at a time and now I'm just taking that just to blend that out as I told you the same brush we applied the darker shade at first and then we're just going to do the same thing we're going to basically uh, blend out the V and then slowly moving the eyeshadow inwards just a little bit because you want the darkness to be mostly concentrated at the ends to give you that um, cat eye sexy eyes kind of look if that makes sense and now I'm gonna mix those two shades which is the black and the gray and apply that into my lower lash line just so it doesn't look um, harsh just having the black liner instead so it kind of looks you know smoked out and even and all the fun stuff you want to make it look so now I'm just gonna curl my lashes apply my mascara I use this um, max gimme black I think or gimme lash and of course my favorite Mac dimension mascara honestly with that you don't need lashes which I didn't wear love it and now I am going to be going in with my favorite highlighter at the moment which is the Nicole Guerrero's collaboration with Anastasia and today I'm taking the glow getter once again I can't guys this highlighter is amaze balls it is amazing it is just glowing and you feel like oh like you feel like a freaking goddess it's amazing honestly you're like you don't need to do the fix plus trick with this because that's how much glitter and glow and bling it is like you don't need to do it and it, it's just amazing i love 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 this highlighting palette honestly guys you, if you guys don't have it and you're skeptical about it don't be get it it's not subtle so if you like subtle highlights this is not the highlighting palette for you but if you are a glow queen or you want to be a glow queen honestly get this palette And just for a little teensy beansy little bit of blush, I just applied Max Dainty and I just applied that um, just on the apples of my cheeks just to bring back just a little bit of color. And I'm just going to set my face as per usual and for lips I just put the um, lips paint in birthday suit I think that's what it's called the one that comes with the Sephora's birthday package and I just applied that all over my lips. End of the video guys i really hope you guys enjoy don't forget to put the thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe guys i make new videos every week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye